Uh, greetings Capricorn and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, this is a reading for mid-September and we're going to use the uh, Sacred Nature Oracle uh, to get a theme uh, for what it is you need to know as we come into this uh, time frame. Uh, whatever uh, level you're on, whatever uh, portal you're entering into, nature supports you. And it's coming with awareness and the coconut plant. Well, look at this beautiful image of the coconut plant. You might uh, be uh, eating a coconut, or coconut milk could be something, or the coconut tree. Uh, but uh, the number 15 in awareness. And we'll look at what the cards have to say for the coconut. And the affirmation uh, for this reading is, I honor my divinity within. Awareness allows me to choose my higher self, and so it is. And as a flower essence, coconuts brings an uplifting awareness, endurance, and determination, helping you to commit to resolution and completing tasks. Its um, energy of the coconut is inspiring and helps uh, transform a path from suffering into joy. And this is leading you to know you're on the right path and to use that awareness. And you to know that your projects will be nurtured and inspired. And that is what I have for you, awareness. And um, spirit guides, thank you for bringing uh, just the precise and resonating energy for Capricorn, the sun, moon, and rising. And so good to see you, all of my Capricorns out there. Uh, your earthy energy, and you've been coming up a lot as the king of, of pentacles in uh, some of my readings. Uh, so that is what I have uh, coming for you. And this is what I have for Capricorn. Bringing your awareness to each of these cards. Where you're coming into the reading, uh, carrying a heavy burden. You see you're almost home. You're there, uh, just you're almost to that line of demarcation showing I'm there. And your face and back is down into these uh, wands, into the fire, into the burden, into your energy, just keeping on going. But you're going to get there. And see the polka dots on the shirt. This is uh, a sign in the tarot, not taking yourself too seriously. If you're shouldering too much because of duty, responsibility, Capricorn, oh, let that down. You're almost there. Release the burden. You're carrying too much weight. Um, and it could be just uh, backbreaking. You could be having some um, problems with your spine with your muscles. And the fool is, yes, you're gonna let go of that. Look at the difference in posture here. Uh, it's just almost amazing. They're opposites. One is so folded in and the other is out and expressing. So you're moving out into a new beginning, taking the leap of faith, uh, opening your throat and your chest, solar plexus to the light of a new beginning, a new day, letting the back-breaking responsibility go because you've been in the hermit mode for too long. This is Virgo energy, and we're coming out of Virgo season. And the fool is Aquarius, that a new beginning, a breakthrough. And you're going to uh, get this wisdom. You have self-knowledge now about what is uh, the burden, and you're freeing yourself because the influence of the past was this happiness that came after a difficult time. There could have been problems with the family, a problems with children, a problems in a relationship, just problems with your feeling of emotional distress. Um, you have two tens, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands, that's a fire and water. They're kind of energies that might put each other out. So you're moving into uh, this um, sense of happiness uh, quickly. Uh, you have this energy to go for it. You're on your motorcycle. You're free. You've got the fool uh, and the um, eight of wands saying quickly, take the leap. You're ready. Nothing's holding you back because you're going into the empress. 
Uh, and Capricorn, uh, this is of the earth. This is a Taurus energy. And so uh, you've got Aquarius, Taurus, uh, and <clears throat> Virgo here as the uh, major arcana, a new beginning, because you've got this inner self-knowledge to uh, be that uh, beautiful, creative, abundant, productive, lovely, uh, unfolding, uh, nurturing earth mother of the earth. Of, and we had this reading today with sacred nature um, of that awareness of the earth, of the coconut. And uh, the queen of cups is here uh, as how you're seeing this burden. Well, maybe the burden is based on love, something you care about, deep feelings for whatever this burden is. You've been fired up, this project, something you cared about, or your responsibility, a Capricorn. And that's honorable. That's the awareness you're getting. Um, and you have tender feelings. You're at the water's edge. You're almost like body is part of the water. And you're tapped into your intuition that mermaid energy of being able to dive below uh, but uh, maybe keep your human form so to speak but to know of those deep wells within you and you stood up for that but there's a new beginning coming and this could involve a Taurus a Capricorn for you right now and uh, it's something with the eight of pentacles so you have the eight of wands and the eight of pentacles so you're uh, quickly moving there's fast energy, there's completion uh, of a craft, of something that's coming in from the environment uh, where someone is being very successful with an art form or something they're working on, a career choice. And uh, it's going to be uh, growing and have a lot of um, energy of uh, being recognized for your skill and working in collaboration um, to quickly go toward this because there's communication involved. And what is coming as your hope and fear is the seven of a cups. Well, there's water here again with the queen of a cups and the seven. And this is, uh, this is you, Capricorn. This is a part of yourself. You see with the, she has almost like a young witch's hat on. Uh, so there is a sense of a daydreaming, uh, playing a role, putting on a dress, playing dress up as we used to do, uh, being this, uh, uh, whether it's being a superhero or being um, just some a magical creature, a witch, a mermaid, like I said, but your daydream about oh, what would these cups bring me? What is it going to be like? What will uh, my choices and becoming aware maybe of the clouds around you that there's a, something that is your hope and fear that you're uh, feeling a lot about this responsibility to this burden that you're leaping away from maybe um, because <clears throat> the advice is the lovers. Wow, well, another a card of this energy of Gemini. So there is a choice in a partnership, something about maybe a choice you have to make in a partnership that's coming up and you're daydreaming about it, maybe how this will, will this work out? Will joining with this, uh, some energy different from me, will it be the right choice or will it, am I under an illusion about this? But you're seeing that you have a, a lot of feelings about this, a work you're doing and what's coming at you from the environment is someone who's working hard at uh, maybe becoming and moving quickly toward this Taurus energy, uh, communicating with a Taurus, communicating, uh, nurturing, creative, loving, um, a kind of energy around you, allowing that to come to you from Taurus. Uh, because at the uh, feeling of the recent past, you have been that bliss, the happy life. That was the influence of the past. Uh, something to do with children or a relationship, family, that came in with the hope of a rainbow. 
and you move quickly toward that, but there was a time out maybe from it where you needed to get information to study, uh, to uh, take time away, to be in solitude, to understand yourself. And as you did that, you see that it was, you had this heavy burden, uh, but now you are uh, taking the opposite stance. You're taking a leap of faith, uh, coming to an awareness of this burden. And you're seeing it as a beginner's mind because you are going to use the a coconut medicine of awareness. And uh, that is what I have for my uh, amazingly uh, beautiful, earthy, um, Capricorn energy and uh, sending you a lot of love today and thank you for subscribing to my channel and helping it grow I appreciate each one of your subscriptions and thumbs up and comments and so please let me know where you're watching this from how this awareness is going to come to you and how the earth is becoming aware as you walk through it and see you next time bye bye